Larry here with Seven Sage Law School Prep and another stick figure exam tip. This one's on law school study groups. I get a lot of questions as to whether or not people should join them. In my view, the clear answer is you should totally do them. However, you need to spend time doing them right. I get some students, some tutoring students, who are all like, I don't know if you ever saw this horrible Steve Gutenberg movie, but he's this kind of like dorky guy and he meets this girl and I think it's Jamie Gertz and she's totally not interested and then he has some makeover and he totally pretends to be this Australian guy named Lobo and he's like, my name's Lobo and I like to hunt alone. And this is how some of the students that I have are. They think they're a little wolf who's out there hunting alone and they're totally going to massacre those exams by themselves. The suggestions I have as to study groups don't really involve a lot. You can do this most of the time, but just because you're averse to this, this here, doesn't mean you should just resort to this. There is such a thing called crowdsourcing, and it actually helps you on exams. Let me explain. I can understand why you'd want to avoid this when you hear about some of the disasters that study groups become. People spend way too much time talking and having pointless meetings during the semester. They become overly competitive or they argue. And all these, I mean, basically have these antisocial personalities going to law school anyway. And sometimes the study group can magnify that. Let's totally avoid that. Totally agree that that's not what it should be, but that this is also not how it should be. I mean, remember that wolves hunt in packs. It's totally stupid. Not to say, my name is Lobo and I hunt alone. So here's how you keep the study groups effective. The first thing is to limit the time that you spend in them. Say no more than one hour per week during the semester, but a little bit more during the period before exams. And this is why we have to limit the tasks that we do in study group. During the semester, the only reason we meet that one hour a week is to fix our confusion about specific things that professor said in class. That's it. In the periods just before exams, there are additional things that we do. We trade outlines. Everyone does every outline for every class, and we trade them to make sure that what's in ours doesn't miss anything. And if you're paired up with two or three other people, you won't miss anything. If you're totally alone, you definitely will miss something. Secondly, and I think this is the most important, is that you need to trade practice exams. It will be mind-opening and mind-blowing to see the issues that other people think of that you don't. If you practice in isolation, even if you work with a tutor like me, a, I'm not sitting in class, whereas these three or four other people are and probably have a better read on how a professor might think about an exam than I would. And in any case, it's just better you get more energy out of doing this with other people and you have built-in accountability partners. If other people are taking exams or doing outlines, you kind of feel bad not keeping up with them. So do them, but do them right. It's worth it to do a study group.